Hey y'all, welcome to Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen live, exclamation point. It's six o'clock and it's time to get cooking, good looking. Oh yes, hello everybody, hello, hello, hello. Oh my goodness, when I tell you that uh, I have missed you. Mm -hmm. So uh, last week, just a quick, real, real, real quick recap from last week so remember how i kept telling you um when i was cooking that my head was hurting i mean it was throughout y'all the the excruciating pain that i was in um found out what it was yeah uh i was legit sick with 101.7 fever <laughs> yeah um and didn't realize it until my mom made me go to the urgent care on um well she tried to get me to go earlier and by monday morning i just gave in i was like okay let's find out what's going on got there and um i you know took my aspirin and all that stuff so by the time i got there on monday i did not have a fever anymore uh temperature was perfect but my blood pressure was 160 over 100 yeah our girl was was ill okay but um i managed to get through it turns out every year i get bronchitis every year and um had to get some um medication to get you know all of that stuff dried up and just out of me so right now i'm like i think i'm 96.7 percent good okay um, so tonight, um, we're going to get cooking and, um, up until yesterday, I did not know what I was going to cook. I, I wasn't feeling well. I had to take Monday after I left urban care Monday and then I took Tuesday off just so I could, you know, get back to close to a hundred. Um, so I didn't do a lot of food prep. I wasn't able to go shopping or anything like that. But yesterday, I just had this idea and I was like, you know what? Um, I, I really wish I could just phone the show in because I don't know. Maybe, maybe I ought to call for takeout or something. And then I said, no. You're not going to call for takeout. You're going to do takeout. So that's what we're doing tonight, honey. We are doing Chinese takeout in Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. It's going to be so dope. You know, I've been trying to take y'all to some different places, you know. Sometimes we go to the grill, Jamaica. Well, this time we're going to Beijing, honey. Mm. So we're just going to do a, a quick little takeout menu. I even... How cool is that? I bought a wok. I bought a big old wok. Uh, I hope it works out. Now this isn't in, isn't the best wok. It's not. I I want to order a real real wok, like a steel, a hammered steel one. Um, so we're gonna try this out. But it was it was kind of cheap, so it it may work out. It may not. It we'll see what happens. Okay, it, it's live. That's what we do. We just kind of see what happens. So, um, on the menu tonight, for those of you just tuning in, of course, welcome to Studio uh, Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live! Exclamation point. Um, we're doing Chinese takeout tonight with. Um, I already I did my rice earlier, and what I did was some. Um, I wanted some nice long grain thin rice so I, I bought a basmati rice now that, that's not a typical rice that you would do a, a fried rice with but this is my dish so uh, I'm gonna do it my way so I got this beautiful long grain basmati mmm and I just um cooked it kinda dry with just a little salt no butter this is what I, in case you can't understand me, because I still sound like a, a six-year-old 
with all this congestion. Um, this is the rice. It, it, it's backwards, but it's a basmati. Basmati is an Indian rice, but um, we're going to use it today to do our um, pork and shrimp fried rice. We're also going to do some shrimp and crab rangoon. Yeah, baby. With the cream cheese and everything in the little wontons and fry them. Honey, it, it, it's going to be good. Um, I'm going to do the... And, oh, and, and my my chicken wings. Um, so, I smell it through the bag. I can smell it through the bag. Oh, it smells so good. So, I really cannot tell you what I put in here, but it's my own blend of spices and sauce. I got some, uh, let me, well, I got a little soy sauce, of course. Got some teriyaki in there. I got some um, little minced garlic. I got some, um, what else did I put in here? Carlo, why are you? What else? It's something else. I'm not trying not to tell you what I put in it. I mean, I'm not trying to be, see oh, I put a couple of um, splashes of sesame oil in here. Um, that's going to give it that nice. Um, and when we fry these bad boys up in some hot grease, um, we're not going to bread it. No breading. None. Um, and that's going to be our, um, chicken wing. Um, now I took a shortcut on the, um, sweet chili sauce. I bought one. Made ploy. Sweet chili sauce. Bought that. And it's going to be good. Why? Because I don't feel like making it myself. I can tell I'm still a little ornery because I'm a little, oh, I can't stand being sick. Oh, I can't stand it. But it's going to get better. So I chopped up some red and white onions, some uh, mushrooms, just some regular old white button mushrooms. I'm going to chop up some chives. Chives are going in, um, put a little bit in my rice, but I'm a, I really got it for the Rangoons. And, oh, got my little pork sausage, just original flavor, to go inside uh, the wok when I get ready to fry up my rice. But I'm not ready to do that yet, so I'm going to set this aside. And, um, oh, see y'all, look. And I even bought some little wonton wraps for my Rangoon. Now, full disclosure, never made crab, crab Rangoon before. Never. Uh, so we'll see what happens. You're going to be doing this with me. All right. And we're going to stuff these little wonton wraps with our crab and our shrimp. And and sour cream and, and cream cheese. We'll see, baby. We shall see. Oh, let's get cooking. <laughs> I need a studio audience, so y'all y'all be my studio audience. Please clap me up, clap me up. All right. Oh, and I got my super blend. Um, what you call this broccoli salad? Ain't nothing in it. It's just. Broccoli, kale, carrots, and I'm going to fry that in the rice also. Just to give it some more color and some more crunch. Y'all, if your food, when you're cooking your, your dishes, I was um kidding. <laughs> Sorry, my, my kids at uh, at the high school yesterday, and they had a, a decent looking lunch, I guess. They had chicken nuggets, macaroni and cheese, and something else. But everything was the same color. Major fail. If you don't have a variety of color on your plates, how are you going to be enticed to eat it? Like when I make my, my dishes, and everybody don't have to do that, but it's the eye that draws you to the food. My mother says, Ethel P. Isaac, you eat with your eyes first. Now, when your food tastes as good as it looks, 
honey. <laughs> you doing things. All right. I'm about to get started. I promise you I'm not stalling. I'm just... Little Cabernet seven, y'all. And and I'm I'm gonna hit tell you what else I did with this Cabernet. I put a little tart cherry juice in it and a little cranberry juice in it. Because I'm trying to fight the gout. Uh making sure that don't jump on me again. So look cabernet, look little, little tart cherry, little cranberry. You got yourself a nice little cocktail there. I'm trying, y'all. Trying. So what am I gonna do first? Right now, uh, I got a pot to get. I need to. Let me pull this off. Right now, I need to heat up some oil. Okay, y'all stay right there with me. Oh my goodness! I think I'm gonna do some green beans too. Remember, I had those um those skinny string beans. Well, I bought some more from Wally World today. And I'm going to do this with some garlic and some salt, a little soy sauce, and ba-bam. That's, that's going to be my other color. All right? I'm going to leave it in the freezer for now because I like to cook them starting out with them uh, kind of frozen they, and then fry them fast. They seem to do a little better like that. Oh, my goodness. But I'm, I'm so glad that... You guys, uh, no matter what, no matter what, you know, y'all got a lot going on. Um, the week has not always been kind, uh, not to everyone anyway, and I realize that, but the fact that you are willing to uh, come on this live and, and watch a new recipe, learn something new, laugh and cut up with this. Silly country girl from Lynchburg, South Carolina, um, is a joy. It's, it's an absolute joy to me. Ooh, I think I just said Teddy Pendergrass in my head. Joy. Joy to me. Mm. Be near you. I want you here with me. I can't help it. If I say something and it sounds like a song, then I got to finish the song in my head. That's just the um, thing I live with. In my mind. All right. Mm. Let me ch chop up these chives. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do. Uh, let's do the rangoon first, since since we're experimenting, and I've never done it before. Now, if it don't turn out right, um, uh, then it just don't turn out right. Like some things just don't work out. Not me. But it's all good. Um, oh, I picked up me some claw meat. Real claw crab meat. Real shrimp. None of that imitation stuff. Oh. Uh, I'm supposed to be doing something. And and I just, <laughs> I cannot remember. Anywho, oh, I know. Yes. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Martha. Uh, uh. Skeeter to my, is that Fago grape? No, it's not Fago. I was telling them that's my um, Cabernet with my um, tart cherry juice and cranberry juice in it. So I can feel like I'm doing something moderately decent without getting too smashed on this live. Okay. Would not be a good look for the host to get smashed on the live. Now, um, before I, I really get into this show, I got to dedicate this show to a little special lady today. Lord, I don't even know how old my baby girl is. But my niece, Kennedy, it's Kennedy's birthday today, y'all. That's Pat, um, baby. Not the baby, baby. But the one next to the baby, little Kennedy. Oh, how is Kennedy nine? Is Kennedy nine years old? Gosh, I suck as an auntie. Really? How do I not know how old she is? Oh, 
Oh, those chives smell amazing. I got me a bowl here. Uh, oh, so I, I bought some for the crab rangoon. I bought the shrimp that's already cooked. And because what I'm going to do is dice them up. I already washed them and cleaned them off and everything. And now just sit that right there. Sit that right there. Y'all, pardon me for moving so slow today. Ooh, this. Pardon moi. And I'm going to just chop up the, the shrimp. I don't want them too tiny. I want you to get some big bits in there so when you bite down, you feel like I like, oh, God, she loved me. She put some big bits of shrimp in there. But it needs to be small enough to fit inside the little wonton because um, you don't want your wonton to just bust open. Got to have a shrimp small enough to uh, there we go. Come through, knife. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Man, just, just a rough chop. I ain't trying to make no puree. Just a rough chop on the shrimp. This is going to make a lot of um, filler. Mm -hmm. For your rangoon. Oh my goodness, Chad. Don't worry. I, I'm going to use all of this for the rangoon because I got a different shrimp for the um, for the fried rice, honey. You know, I'm going to do you right. I'll throw my chives in there. Um, do I want some onions? I'm going to do a few. I ain't going to do a lot. That's for the rice. Just a little bit. Yes, honey, we in Beijing tonight with some Chinese takeout. I want a little bit of minced garlic um, for our Chinese takeout menu tonight. For those of y'all that are late, we are doing, that's good, um, shrimp and crab rangoon. A rangoon is like a little dumpling, a little um, deep fried dumpling filled with a protein of your choice and cream cheese filling. That's it. And we got a little uh little sweet Thai chili sauce to go with it. And we've got uh, we're gonna do some fried chicken wings, no breading, and shrimp and pork fried rice. And some long green beans. Yes. Long green beans. It's gonna be wonderful. Why? Because I said so. Mm-hmm. All right. Now for the cream cheese. Oh, crab meat. So, got your, um, that's your, just shrimp. Ain't nothing in here. I'm not hiding nothing from you. Not hiding anything from you. It's just the diced up shrimp I put in there, some chives, some, uh, a little bit of onion. And now I'm going to do some claw meat. Hey, good looking. <laughs> what you got cooking? How's about cooking something up with me? That uh, commercial used to use that song. Hey, Sean. <laughs> she made me think about that. I told y'all, if somebody say something about and it reminds me of a song, then I got to finish singing the song. Because, I'm, I don't know. It, it's just something that happens with, with me. Oh Lord, that um, that claw meat looks good, baby. Oh, look at this good old that claw meat. Ooh, ooh. Oh, and it's sweet. Oh, it's sweet. Mm. 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 My my my. 
I'm out of the sea salt, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a little bit in here. So y'all know how I've been hunting them kitchen shears uh, last week. I still can't find them. I don't know where they walked off, but they walked. They done walked out the kitchen because, look, you know what I really think happened? Because I don't, I, I don't take them out of the kitchen. I only use, like I said, my kitchen shears are for the kitchen. What I think happened was, uh, I think I inadvertently threw them away. Ugh. I know, I know. So typically I want my, I had this cream cheese sitting out. You just want one block of cream cheese to go in this Rangoon. We'll see. I think I'm going to add a little sour cream to kind of soften it up. Alright, LaShawn, I would love to have you as my guest, baby. You just let me know when you want to come to Charlotte. Now, this weekend, I ain't going to be here. Hey, Antoinette. This weekend, I got to, um, so we got this empowerment. Um, It's called Vision 2020 Conference at our church. And I'm the moderator for two of the panels. Uh, so, I got to be here for that on Saturday morning. Uh, which is going to be a really great event. They're going to have vendors there. Of course, I'll be there um, talking with the people. I, I'm moderating the event on wellness and uh, oh, <laughs> credit. <laughs> uh huh. So I'll be in a good place. Talk about my wellness and talk about my financial wellness, honey. So I'm looking forward to it. It's it's always a good time. I wish I had this cream cheese a little bit softer, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, when I tell you this, um, I need mm, this is so much shrimp and stuff. I need another. I think I need another. Um, let me work with it and see. Y'all know y'all you got to feel these things out. So when y'all be asking me how much of this do you use, I really don't know. I've never made crab rangoon before in my life. But I enjoy eating them. And I know what I want it to taste like. So uh, I figured we just make it tonight. As part of our um Chinese takeout menu. Oh, I got some uh, sushi ginger here. I love I love ginger, y'all. Get you some of this. Can Can you see sushi ginger, y'all? Sushi ginger should be in your in your kitchen. Pantry somewhere because you can put it in your tea if you don't feel like buying the root and cutting it up. And this is already nice and marinated, and it's got that little kick. I'm gonna put a little bit of that in my crab rangoon. Mm. Yes, honey. You got the layer of these flavors. It's more seasonings in this world than, and I'm, I'm going to make somebody mad out there. I know I am. I may lose a subscriber, but I must say this for your own good. Uh, there are more seasonings out there in the world than Laurie's Sea Salt. I mean, seasoning salt. Don't stop using seasoning salt on everything. Uh, now, I'm not mad if you use it. Some people make the chicken taste real good when they do. But then they make the pork chops. And then they make the roast beef. And everything they make tastes the same because they use the same flavors. Mix some flavors up, honey. Start buying you some fresh herbs. 
get some ginger in your pantry, like I said, um, and do some different things with flavors. We, we more than salt and pepper, honey. We are more than salt and pepper. I think I need to make that into a t-shirt. Don't take it, because I might copyright it. But we are more, oh my God, my t-shirt. My t-shirt. So I ordered, um, Lord, I'm going to have to, I don't have cash out, but I'm going to have to find a way to get her that money. Um, Miss Green from my old school, from Allen Brook, she makes t-shirts and she sent me the design um, for a Sugar Pearls t-shirt that she's going to do for me. I'm so excited about it too. Um, but I was supposed to take her the money today and got so aggravated um, with some stuff earlier today and it just kind of messed up my whole flow. And then before you know it, I had to hurry up and leave work by 4 o'clock so that I could um, go shopping for tonight's show. And Miss Green, I forgot to bring your money. Charge it to my head, not my heart. I got your money, okay? I got your money, and you shall have it. You shall have it, because she, uh, ooh, yes. Oh, this is coming along, honey. I might not need no more um sour to the cream. Cause it's <laughs> oh my gosh. I have a friend Scott. Scott loves crab rangoon. So if I perfect this, then I might be able to make it for him one day. But I, like I said, this is my first time. See, look, look at this. This is, that's your crab rangoon mixture, I think. I think I want a little more something in it, though. I think I'm going to do some sour cream just to kind of, you know, loosen that up a little bit. Because when you deep fry it, in that oil, you want it to like, yeah. Oh, I had just enough. That was a tablespoon. Yeah, that's funny. Miss Green, if you watching tonight, um, text me. I won't be able to respond back right now, but text me your cash app. So I can download the app and um, send me your money, child, because I want my t-shirt. I want my t-shirt. Y'all, this, this right here. Ooh, can you hear it, though? Taste it a little bit. Turn my heart. Okay, it's good. Check my oil. Make sure it ain't. Now, because everything in here is already cooked, I'm not worried about poisoning myself. That's crab rangoon. I love you too, Doris. That's crab rangoon. Y'all, it's about to be on and popping. Y'all, crab rangoon about to go on my mini chair. Oh my goodness. Baby, look at that. There's just enough salt. You don't want it salty, but you want it salted. Got the chives going in there. Every now and then you get a little hint of ginger, but I'm going to do a little more. Why? Yes, because I know how I want it to taste. And the way I want it to taste is I need a little more pepper. 
pickled ginger. Y'all, let me tell you, this ginger, I, I should have had this ginger when I was ailing to really knock this bronchitis out. What I really, really, really should have had was that good old stomp that daddy used to make for me. Well, he didn't make stomp, but he made the, the, um, the little toddy with it. You know, with that good old brown liquor and honey and oh my god one time child i had pleurisy i know people don't get pleurisy these days you think but i ended up having pleurisy and my daddy made this stuff for me and uh oh honey when i tell you it knocked everything Now, now this is what I this what you want right here. You want the creamy. You want the cream. We gonna get to the other dishes. Don't worry. That's coming. But we we had to make sure this was right. Honey. Mm. Oh my. I will be looking forward to eating that. What do I want to do first? I want to do the chicken wings first, and then I could always always put those off in the oven to stay warm. Then I can do the rangoon. Okay, I just had to talk to myself so I can make sure I, you know, did it in that order. In that order. In that order. I see. Uh. Oh. Yes, it's tart cherry juice, y'all. Yeah, some some wine in there too, but it's tart cherry juice, wine and cranberry juice. Yes. All right. Now we're gonna try and make a couple of these bad boys. So I'm a. I think I'm a. I'm gonna come a little closer to you. Is that all right? Can I get a little closer? Let's put an egg in here because I think I might have to do an egg wash on the outside of this wonton. On the inside of the wonton. Hey, hey, hey. about hey Nita <laughs> hey, Pam. I was thinking that um, oh when I finally decided uh, what I was gonna do it's the takeout menu it's the Chinese takeout uh, menu that we're doing tonight uh, we've got chicken wings no breading um, shrimp and pork fried rice, crab rangoon, and some garlic green beans. Uh-huh. I'm excited. I just need to get cooking. Ugh. All right, I'm ready, y'all. I'm ready now. Okay, so let's, um, we made our, our filling already for the, the crab rangoon. Look how nice and creamy that is. And you only going to, I made a lot. Oh, my goodness. Who going to help me eat all this food, child? My daddy asked me that one time. Hey, will you be making all that food? Who help you eat it? Well, dad, mostly I just take it to work with me. And that's my lunch. See, I can't find my kitchen shoes, so I can't even open up my little wonton wraps. That's all right. I'm going to buy me some honey. Come on now. Come on, man. I got it sealed up so tight.
Pantan. Yes, there we go. Um, I'm in. So these are your little wonton wraps. That's it. Paper thin. Look at that. So the wontons are going to be um, pretty small. So the first way, I I think what I'm going to do in order to be... <laughs> I, Reggie, I, got, I keep saying it, but... Yeah, one one of these old Fridays when I'm here, you and Cam got to come and, and hang out, do a marriage show with me. Mom and Dad gave us the 46-year-old version. You and Cam can give us the, the early version. So I'm going to just um wipe my wonton with, with a little egg wash on the inside. I'm trying this now. I ain't never made no crab rangoon before. But you know what? You ought to be willing to try something new sometime. Can in order let me, let me hold it. I want to make sure I get these measured out just right. So I'm gonna use a, a teaspoon. And I'm gonna y'all see that? Dump it right there on the inside. 15 years, that's right, 15, 15. So Reggie and Cam are celebrating 15 years. They just had an anniversary. Um, they do a radio show together. Um, they do, y'all still do the Facebook live show? And, um... Reggie was kind of telling us one day at work. Now, I ain't going to tell it all, Reggie. I ain't, I ain't going to do that, bro. I want you to still have a place to sleep. <laughs> but he was telling us, he and Cam actually, um, they went to school together. And, and they really were not into each other like that. Um, you know what? Come to think of it, Mama and Daddy said the same thing. And they still together. Maybe it's something to that. I know that's not the traditional looking one, but because they so um kind of small. These little wonton rappers are, they they got me. They got me. They got me. I, um, oh, yeah, man, ain't nothing like some good old, some good old love, and some good old black love is even better than that, that's what I grew up on, some good old black love, yeah, before Michelle and Barack, it was Thompson and Ethel. Yes, honey. Yes. Encouraging one another, loving one another. Cause if you with somebody, honey, and 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 that ain't the gift you getting every day. Mm, I ain't trying to break nobody up now. I'm just saying. Like, what what are you doing? Or you you in it cause you lonely or you scared to be by yourself? Cause you know you deserve more. I'm just saying, let me shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Cause I ain't got no room over here for y'all to come stay with me when y'all get put out. Mm -mm, none at all. Like Jonathan Taylor said, if you can't be with the one you love, you better love the one you with. But it's so much nicer when you can be with the one you love. And when somebody loves you back, that's a fact. Y'all, these songs in my head, they just won't let me go. They will not let me go. 
Oh my goodness, I got enough of this Rangoon mixture to make about 50 of these things. Mm. Oh my. Oh my goodness. All I'm doing is just kind of folding and tucking the sides just like a little pocketbook. I don't want all my juices and stuff to come flowing out. But I'm just making a little Rangoon pot. It looked like a little dumpling, yes. Like a little dumpling. I'm going to do about... I might be able to eat a few of these bad boys. Uh, just in one sitting, I say. Oh, egg wash. So, um... I'm going to tell y'all why I decided to do a little, little takeout, a little Chinese takeout Friday night. Um, so growing up, I'll give you another little insight into my household as a child. But um, dad, so my, uh, let me back up a little bit. So mom, she would always tell the story about how she was kind of sheltered. Y'all see that, right? Okay. I'm, I'm going to show you in a little bit. Growing up. So she really didn't like go a lot of places or anything like that. Um, she went to Florida, you know, to see her brothers and family and stuff. But as far as just getting out and seeing other places and people and stuff from all over the country, she, she never had that opportunity. Um... And then she met old fine black man from Lynchburg, South Carolina. So when dad moved back, dad, of course, grew up in Lynchburg and all that. And moved back home from Boston. And um, met fell in love. Y'all they told y'all the story about how all of that happened. You're sitting outside Hannah's grill for hours, didn't even go to work. Her ride was looking waiting for her. That's supposed to be coming pick us up and and she out there courting in front of the restaurant with Thompson. Thank God she did, honey. Um so anyway, story about takeout. Um, so I remember that growing up, um, dad would always want to like expose us to new places and experiences and it was just, just, just sweet. He always wanted that for his family. Now this man would, would work third shift or whatever shift he worked. It didn't matter. Um, but he would get home. And his brother, my Uncle Bill, Uncle Matthew, lived across the street. And they would both get off work. And they would go um, to ask the wives, what are we going to do this weekend? And the wives were like, well, I don't know. We might, you know, let's you know, go down here to the, the club or whatever. You know, back then, you go and... You, dress up, put on your furs and stuff, and just hang out. And that was cool, and they did that once in a while, too. Um, but what the brothers really loved to do was hit the road. And they were like, yeah, that's cool, but, you know, I think I want to go to Philly. And Mom was like, go to Philadelphia, like, right now? Like, we didn't plan it. We didn't. He said, y'all know, um, pack up the kids. Uh, we going to Philly. He just got off work. He might take a little nap, might not, depending on just how how excited he was. Seemed like he was as excited, if not more, to take these little trips. Um, so they would pack us up. Me, Lynn, Pat, load up in the um uh, in the car or, or the camper or whatever, and we on our way to Boston or um, on our way to um Philly. Or we on our way to Boston. Or we on our way to New York. Or wherever. But it was always an adventure. One time daddy came home and was like, um, 
wanted to take the family somewhere. And mom was like, well, what were you thinking? You know, she's still thinking, you know, like around the, the Philly, New York area. He said, no, I think I want to go to Canada. So in the car, we hopped with our little things. Uh, and we just made a, a week out of it. And we would stop and see the relatives in Philly and Boston, in New York, and kept going until we got to Quebec. And uh, that that was vacationing in in the Isaac household. Didn't have a whole lot of money, but it was something different. It was out of the ordinary. And we were together. So it mattered even more. Um, and I always just appreciate it. Just him just, and, and to this day, like my brother and mom and dad, they don't go so much now. You know, when you get older, you want to be relatively close to your own house in case anything pop off, you there. Um, so they don't stray too far, but my brother, I noticed he does the same thing. Him and Lou, they'll hop in the car in a minute and go God knows wherever. And they just be gone. They just gone. Um, and that's important. Like, you know, if, if you're making the excuse, oh, I got the, I need to be here at church on Sunday. Well, go to church wherever you end up. You know, God is everywhere. You know, your first ministry is with your family. So, if you just waiting to do church wherever you are, the way you always been, then honey, you are missing out. Get out there and live some life. These are our little cranberry rangoon dumplings. Aren't they precious? All those little babies are going to be so good. I just hope they don't leak out. Can I do one more? Yes, you can. Can I kick it? Yes, you can. Oh my gosh, stop. Stop with the songs, child. A little more egg wash. Now, once I do this, I'm going to sit it aside, and then I'm going to start the um, chicken wings. The chicken wings. Hold on to me. I, I can't do too many things and uh, concentrate at the same time, so let me make sure. Yes, yes. One more little pocketbook. That's how, now they ain't as pretty as the restaurant. I know, Scott. I know, but they mine. And they're delicious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now it's even. Now I got eight little crab rangoons. I'm going to sit this to the side. And I'm going to start on the chicken wing. Oh, uh, where's my, I need a lid. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Yes. Yep, that's it. Alright. Now for the wings. The wings. Uh, yes, honey. It starts at home. It starts at home. Your ministry. Your marriage. Your children. Um, you, you can't get all that stuff. I mean, yes. You can get quite a bit. Um, out of the church house itself, the, the walls of the church. But um, what if the church burned down? What if all the churches burned down? You still got ministry to do. And it begins at home with the people that you see and you love on and talk to every single day. But you ain't, if you ain't never there because you always trying to beat the church door down, because you're afraid of living life or you running from something. I'm just saying, I ain't calling nobody out in particular. But, you know, we got to remember. Oh. Um, we shut up. So, I'm going to try to drip these wings uh, as much as I can. But they have been marinating in some soy sauce, teriyaki, garlic. Sesame seed oil, 
just a drop. That sesame seed oil ain't nothing to play with, so you don't need a whole lot. Um, and some other spices. I don't know. But I, I did a, a few little things here. I, I know. I know what. I'm going to put a little, little paper towel down. And that way I can have something. Yes. Yes. If it feels, if it looked like I ain't quite got myself at 100%, it's because I don't. I'm like 96.7. Um, but I'm going to get there. Lord, I just, that bronchitis took it out of me, honey. Turn that up a little bit. These have been sitting in here for a little while, so they're not, um, they're not cold. I don't like putting no cold meat in the grease. Cause you can, but you might have hell to pay if you do when that when it pop back on you. So Yes. Oh. Oh. What? Come on, son. Ow. Ow. Don't be mad at me. Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. And and that's my chicken wings going in there. No flour. No flour, because you're going to have a little sauce to make up for any flour you think you're going to miss. We, we ain't got to bread all our chicken and all our fish all the time. Now, wings don't take a whole lot of time to cook. I like to give them about eight, nine minutes. Especially if they're submerged like this, they'll cook through. You don't need to keep peeking back at it. But um, give your wings about eight, nine minutes to cook. Oh, that's having a party in there. I hear it, and I'm afraid to open it. Oh, I'm afraid. Mm, 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 mm. All right. So when that comes out, I'll put them in the oven so they can be on warm. Clean off my stove top here. birthday today my little niece Kennedy I think Kennedy is 8 years old 9 9 I think I'm terrible I just need to stop happy birthday Kennedy I don't even know how old you are on this day because some days you act like you're 32 well I don't know mm -hmm. <laughs> But it's her birthday today. Um, all right. So that's that. When you get and get some tongs here. I know that's not done, but it's. Woo wee! Lord, have mercy. Why are they so pretty, though? Why are they so doggone beautiful? Because you ain't put all that bread on it. That's why. Look. Look how pretty that is. Now, it ain't done. But just... Your girl know what she doing. <laughs> Thank you, Rochella. She said, happy birthday, Kennedy. So I'm going to let that go for a few more minutes in the fryer. And meanwhile, I'm going to get my wok hot for my fried rice. Turn this up kind of high. Um, first thing I'm going to do is fry the egg in it. And then uh, add other stuff to it. We'll see. Y'all, I just, 
I experiment with flavors and stuff, and, and I'm just so glad that you are happy to come along. Because it could have been the other way. Turn that down a little bit because I want to make sure it's cooked on the inside. No matter what, my raw chicken. Um, so I was telling uh, the folks at the beginning of the live for y'all that that were here on time. Uh, for those of you that were not, uh, it's Chinese takeout tonight, uh, sugar pearl style. And um, I did my basmati rice already. Basmati is a long, thin grain rice. And when you cook it right, it cooks nice and separate. And that's how I want my, um, my fried rice to be tonight. Okay? So, that chicken wing looks like it's doing some things. Turn that pot up. Let me get some oil. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna use a little olive. I blended it. Ooh. Ooh, Lord. Don't pop me. Please don't pop me. Ooh, wee. Oh, my. Y'all. Those look like some good old Pecan duck or something. It looks so good. I ain't gonna cook the whole bag. I'm gonna save some for um, tomorrow. Oh yeah. There's some water in this pan. Just to kind of make sure it get hot all around. Ooh, I'm so excited to be eating with you tonight. Uh, yes, come through, come through, walk. With the rest of that sea salt right here. Put that in my egg. I need some more chives for this, um, for the rice. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I, um, I did not want to give nobody no money to bring me some takeout food that I was going to be disappointed with. So I decided to make my own. And so we have... Chinese takeout tonight. Oh. Man, that chai. Every time I, I cut it, it just smells so good. Want a good amount of oil for your um in your pan in your wok pan because when you you're frying it it's, you want it all on the sides and everything even though this is kind of like a non-stick I still want the oil to come up on the sides a little bit. All right, scramble, scramble, scramble. I got four brown eggs in here. Because I like a lot of eggs in my... Um, oh! Lord, if I get burned like Al Green on this live, honey, somebody call 911. Don't let your girl go out like that. Just call them. Oh my goodness. I'll tell you these wings are beautiful. 
They are simply beautiful. They got this, let me show you the color. Look at that. Ain't that a pretty wing? And all of them look like that. Yes. Go ahead and put it back in the oven. from you um, mushroom uh, red onion sweet onion get your pork ready Right on in there. Mm-hmm. It's gonna keep everything kind of loose when that oil from the meat gets in there. Now, if y'all not a friend of the of the swine, don't put pork in yours. You, let me tell you, everything I do with my recipes is you can substitute it. You you do not have to do this like mine. Okay. I like pork. Fried rice. And I like shrimp. So both those things are going in my recipe tonight. Uh -oh. Come on now, left hand. Left hand, I tell you. Turn that up a little bit more. This is just a little minced garlic. I'm just gonna use all of that. Just... Ain't no more. Ain't no more. And I'm not doing a whole lot of salt because when you add your soy sauce to it, that'll give you the stuff that you need. Now, you know, I got my little greens here to go inside my um, my rice. Yes. Oh, that's going to be gorgeous. Just just let it work. Let it work. Don't be concerned. I'm going to do a couple of drops of sesame oil. Ooh, that was plenty. It's going to be fine. Put my chives in there. Oh. That's what I want. A can opener. Now, what, what is this you're doing now, Carla? You just add more stuff? Drain. You would think that I got an entire family of 12 coming over for dinner. You would think. But I don't. It's just me. But if, if you're going to treat yourself honey, then treat yourself right. 
Oh, that uh, pork down there is starting to fry up. Get a little crust on it. When you leave it alone, that's what it ha what, the, what it does. What it does. I got that going kind of high. Because I want to continue to cook that pork through before I add uh, my shrimp. But let me show you what this little, little baby I found today while scrolling, while scrolling the aisles. Little baby corn. Look at all that baby corn. Y'all, I love some baby corn. I love corn in any case. But little baby corn, honey. Let me tell you, this, this is going to make my soul so happy. Look at that. Um, and uh, once I get this pork done, I'm going to add a few of these. I'm going to just kind of cut it kind of. Kind of catty corner. Yeah, baby corn, honey. Add another couple. See, and it's not sticking. I'm using a non-stick wok, yes, but when you kind of let it, let all the flavors and the meat juices and the oils just kind of, then it it cooks itself. But you can be anxious for nothing. From a little baby corn in there. Yes, I want some more. She said she ain't even gonna cut it this time. She's just gonna put them in there. Just put them on in there. And now we're gonna add your rice. Now, I still got to do my green beans. Look, when that girl cooked rice, it ain't going to stick to the bottom. Mm -mm. Why? Because she knows how to cook rice. She knows how to do it. Now, I'm going to start out by adding just like a little quarter cup of um, soy sauce. I want to fry it first. Fry I'm going to use all the rice. Because I can eat it for breakfast in the morning. Y'all ever had breakfast fried rice? My dad makes the best breakfast fried rice out there. I know it sounds like I brag on Mr. Isaac a lot. But he he's a, he's a pretty darn good cook. And when he makes that breakfast rice, honey. Woo! With that pork and that egg. Go through it. Let me tell you, they didn't know how to dip and do it. All right, keep them on. That is a quarter of a cup. Turn it up, turn it up, fry, fry, fry. Because you don't want, to, want it to get soggy. And I don't want it super wet. Oh my gosh. All right. One last ingredient.
And that is, baby, my shrimp. Look at these big old prawns. They're big old. Dump it in. It's almost like a paella, but kind of. Now I can't be dipping in there, tasting it now, because I done got my shrimp in there. And I don't want no raw coming out. Okay. So your shrimp is going to cook until it gets kind of pink, opaque. Let that do it. Let it do it. I did not intend to cook this much food. That's all right. I got all kind of debris on my stove. I'm about to take care of that. See that uh, how that shrimp is starting to turn pink now? It might be hard. You won't. You'll see the after effects when I pull everything off. But I got to get them green beans and that crab rangoon fried up. Ooh. Oh yeah. making a mess out the stove. That's all right though. You sit right there. You get out the way. Where's my... Yeah. Y'all never cook no Chinese at the house? Cook, try cooking something different at least once a month at your house. That way your, your uh, palate doesn't get all bored. And you kind of keep things spicy at the house. In the kitchen, that is. Try cooking something different at least once a month. And uh, say this month, baby, I'm going to take you to the Great Wall of China. Really, honey? Oh, my gosh. You're going to take me to China? Sure is. Sit on down here. And uh, do you some of these crab rangoon and a uh, little pork and shrimp fried rice and some chicken wings, no breading. Now that would be fun. That would be, oh my gosh. Oh my God. Look, y'all, I'm out here saving lives. Let me tell you. That would be such a dope date night. Like if you and your significant other, y'all want to do something fun, but you don't necessarily want to spend all that money to be giving other people to have fun. Do your date night at the house and, and go to a different country. You know, one night, once a month. It don't take a lot, once a month. Some fish tacos one night, do some oxtails, rice and peas another night. Just mix it up, honey. Because life is too short.
to have boring food and boring relationships. Yes, I said it. I said it. I know. Somebody gonna break up tonight and I, forgive me for that. It's not my intention to break anybody up. But uh, if that's a conversation you need to have with the person that you love, then by all means, see, I just want you to do something a little different sometime. Surprise me. Well, this is a nice little way to mix it up and do it different. And it don't cost a lot of money. I made way too much food, but that's all right. Oh my goodness. Girl. If I had ordered this from down the street, I'd have been mad. Um it wouldn't taste like that. And ain't no monosodium glutamate in it either. It's just, it's just good food. And I made it. All right, I'm gonna turn that um that oil that I did the chicken in. I'm gonna do the rangoon in it too. I ain't wasting no oil. Not doing that. Put some more of these greens in there. Presentation, honey. Presentation. Um, what am I doing? Got my oil heating up. Oh, my green beans. Where's my little steamer pot? No, I don't want to steam them. Um, I think I want to fry them. I needed this too. Yes. Cover that up. I'm going to pull this off for a second. I'm going to show you all of the finished product when it's time to eat. Right now, I just need a little more room on my stove. Okay, so I'm gonna get a little I'm gonna ladle me a little bit of this chicken oil in here. These are for my green beans. Mm -hmm. Just enough to coat the pan and turn that on. Okay. Um, so here's the thing about creating your own recipes at home. Um, chances are they're not going to be as salt filled um, and as unhealthy as you would get if you're eating out. Um, you can control that that salt and everything in your own kitchen um, and that's actually better for you so that's why I like to cook at home cook at home control your own salt and um, you don't have a need for all these other fad diets and everything everybody got a new diet they try I ain't got time child and them diets cost money. Them diets are making other folks rich. I can't. I can't. I'm trying to come up. Can't be making you rich off your um, diet fad. Because you done came up with something. I can't keep up. Mm -mm. I just try to eat right. Make sure I include a lot of vegetables in my diet. Um... I don't eat a whole lot of meat meat. I eat a lot of seafood. Um, but I try to stay away from the red meats and everything. But every now and then, a girl wants a steak. And, you know, I can do that too. 
Um, but that's not an every week occurrence either. Yes. Green beans. Oh, why didn't I? Because mm. I thought I was going to find my kitchen shears. I didn't buy any new ones today. But that will all change very soon. Because I do believe I threw them things away. So I've got my little thin green beans in here. The frozen ones. Leave that for another day. And, uh, yeah. What do I want to put in here? I want to put some minced garlic in here. Quite a bit. A bit more. I'm gonna put some of these onions I have. Remember all them onions I cut up? I don't know why, but I'm gonna I'm gonna dump them in here too. Not all of them, but just enough to give it a little dimension. You tell me, it's all about the umami, right? Mm -hmm. I don't need that. I just put that in there. Uh, some badia complete seasoning. I love this little thing. It's so good. And with some garlic powder. I bet you I'm out. Yes, I do. Do a little garlic powder. Now notice what I did here. I did. I'm doing my salt last. A lot. I ain't put all that powder in there. And my salt goes last. About three revolutions, I'll see what that tastes like. Oh, and I can touch it. My butter. Oh, not that much. I told y'all, it's live. It's a live show. Live stuff happens. Get that back on in there. Girl. See, I, I ain't quite got my bearings and uh, everything together. See, I'm still a little, little shaky from, from the fever. But it all will be well. I'm certain of that. This is what you got. And now you're just going to let it cook high. Cook high. Uh, bake. I'm not baking this chicken, but I want to warm my oven to keep my chicken nice and nice and warm. 200 start. All right. Bear with me. that grease nice and hot because remember everything inside your Rangoon hey Benji oh, my fine cousin 
Um, everything inside your Rangoon is already cooked. Your crab, your diced shrimp. So all we're doing is we, we want to fry it enough to get uh, the wonton nice and crispy. But we also want to get the cream cheese on the inside of it. Beautiful and velvety and soft. Okay? But I'm not ready, ready for that yet, boo. Not yet, not yet. Okay. Oh, yes indeed, sweetie. Okay, let me put my perishables back in the fridge. Oh yeah, see these, these green beans are doing exactly what they're supposed to do. See? Nice and green and bright. You got your red in there from your onions. And it's going to be so good and garlicky. And oh my gosh. Let me tell you, this is better than a restaurant. What? Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live, baby. Mm-hmm. All right. I think I'm ready to see my little Rangoon babies in here. Nope. See, I... Mm. It wasn't hot enough. It was not ready. It wasn't ready. It wasn't ready. But that's okay. I'm going to leave it in there. And it'll, just, it'll come on when it's ready. But it wasn't ready. I need green beans. These green beans are doing the thing. Yes, honey. Oh, they smell. Oh. Oh, good. That just don't make no sense. I, I feel like I need a little salt on that. <laughs> gotta make it pretty, y'all. I do this for me, so it's gotta look good. It's gotta taste good. is too much rice. I, I need to drive this head down to mom and daddy. Honey. Let me show you all of this rice that done cook up here. This don't make no kind of sense. Look at that. Oh, oh. You see that? Honey. The shrimp, the corn, the the pork, the onion, the everything. Like that's that's the everything pot. Cause some of everything then went up in there for that pork and shrimp fried rice. I ain't trying to stew the stuff inside of it. I gotta. Oh boy. I'm just. I know. I'm not irritated with y'all. I'm irritated with myself. Because if I, if I was doing right, then all of this here would have done what it was supposed to do the first time. There we go. You hear that?
that's that one little wonton that I put in earlier, but I'm gonna I'm gonna drop the rest now. Because that is what it should sound like when it's dropping in. <laughs> um, and I suspect like most things one time you don't want to crowd the pan so I'm not going to crowd the pan turn that up because I don't want to um, you don't want it to sweat See, this. I told you, this is my first time cooking these wontons now. Never made a, a crab rangoon in my life. But I, I think they're delicious. I enjoy eating them. I know what, I, what they're supposed to taste like, taste like and what I want them to taste like. So, I was like, you know what? You make, your, make your own. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm making my own. Turn that on up. Mmm. Rock. Oh, my good. Oh, come on. Come on. I just gave a gave myself a pat on the back and I kissed my brain. Cause all uh, right, that what's happening with these rangoons is is magical. It's magical. Let that brown up a little bit. I did not make my own um. Uh, Sweet chili sauce, but I bought some. And we about to show you how the kid gets down. Okay. The green beans are ready, Carla. You better get some flavor in your life. Get some flavor in it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't wait for you to see these. They are so cute. Oh my gosh. Uh oh, I almost punctured that. See, I got two. Mm -hmm. Got cocky. Got cocky with it. Don't do that, honey. Gotta make all your stuff and come out. Wow. <laughs> this is so cute. Okay, let me let you see. Hold on. I wanted to show y'all the finished product, but look at that. And I did it. Okay. First time. First time for everything. Y'all, if you're not trying some new stuff in your kitchen, you are missing out. Try new things. And if you mess up, guess what? So what? So what? It's your kitchen. Cooking ain't nothing but one big old science experiment. That's it. Try it. Try it. Try it. Oh, <laughs> you guys are so adorable in there. Dog on cute. 
And y'all know I'm over here plating it up for you. So when you see the finished product, then you'll be like, hey, you did that. And I found my old phone so I can take a picture of it. See? The fever didn't get all of it. I Some things I, I remember. I was like, wait a minute. I could take a screenshot of my food with me. With my old phone. And that's what I shall do. Oh, what am wings at? Boo. Oh, this kitchen is such a happy mess right now. I love it. I love it. Okay, wings. <laughs> Hold on, I'm, it, it's okay. I'm going to show you how to play it properly. Proper plating is a must. Now... I'm going to unplug this real quick because I'm going to bring it to the other side so I can put the whole dish together for you. All right. Stay right there. Hey, Alana. Hi, honey. Chinese takeout tonight. Homemade. Don't don't mind. I, I got you coming back with the light. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And then I'm going to adjust it a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes! Hold on, let me get some rice on my plate. In my bowl, rather. Oh my goodness, when I tell you that it's about to be so on, so popping, Mm. Okay, now I feel like you want <laughs> Okay, let me show you guys a bit. So this is the um pork and shrimp fried rice. These big old scrumps. Yes. Mm. And this is your little appetizer plate. So you got your garlic butter green beans. See? Yeah, you see, you see, you see. Uh, y'all with me? Something happened and it said I had a poor video connection. Because somebody didn't want y'all to see all this goodness. Haterade. Uh, got your wings. Don't. See what happens when you don't bread it and you just... Let that marinade get into it and your crab rangoon. Now, of course, we got our sweet Thai chili sauce here. And I'm going to just be the first to, to, to taste it myself. I got to get into some of this rice. I must. Hold on one second. Hmm. Okay, I know, I know. Let me get the um, get my phone, my old phone. I am happy 
I'm happy now. I wasn't happy earlier, but I'm I'm extremely happy now. Where's okay, this is the old phone, so I don't remember where the camera was on it. Uh Oh, here you go. Camera. Yes. Clean that off. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm, I'm doing it. Now people go to restaurants and take pictures of the, um... Uh, that, that person is me. Don't worry, I'm going to post all the little thumbnails for y'all when I put it on my YouTube channel. Now, if you have not subscribed yet to Sugar Pearl's uh, YouTube channel, then you need to make sure you do that tonight when you finish hanging out with me. Um, and it is Sugar Pearls. S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S, no spaces, no space between the sugar and the pearl. Okay? Let's pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for uh, the food that you've placed before me, for allowing me to um, have some sense of creativity, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for being the ultimate creator and, and just allowing me to express myself creatively through food. May it nourish my body, um, these things, and all things that I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, yes, yes. That, honey, if you had to order this from down the street, I'm gonna just go for the Rangoon. Okay. Let's 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 see what it do. Mmm. Mmm. I want to cry so good. Lord, have mercy. I don't even want to wait for it to cool off. It's that good. And I still got like a boatload of filling. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Ginger come through. Oh my goodness. I knew I did the right thing. By putting that ginger in there. Y'all. Hold on. I, I'm a, I got to give you a better view. I clear I got to. This is this is dinner. On a Friday night. Mmm. Oh, garlic, green beans, yes. More. I need more. More. See? I can't stop getting these songs out of my head. Okay, rice. Mmm. You got the slightest hint of sesame oil in there. Slightest hint. Because sesame oil, you can ruin your whole meal by putting too much. You just want to splash. This right here. Mmm. 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 You want me to try some chicken? Okay. I shall. 
y'all. Oh my gosh. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, and that skin on there is kind of sticky. <laughs> I love it. Y'all couldn't get this in no PF Changs. And they use too much MSG anyway. Delicious. I deserve this. I'm not going to eat all this food. No, I'm not. But I deserve it. you want that cream cheese on the inside to do honey now I've had Rangoon before and it was good mine is better I think what happens is in some of the restaurants in order to stretch out the batter they add egg to the inside of the Rangoon so, you ain't going to get that pouring out like you just saw. The cream cheese all clunky. I don't want it clunky. It needs to be smooth and velvety. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. I wish you could. Mm-mm-mm. Best Rangoon I ever had was right here in Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen. Live. Mm. It's a blessing to be able to know how to cook for yourself, honey. To be able to make a meal. I ain't even eat none of my good old shrimp, honey. I like the big shrimp with the um that are deveined with the shell on because see how big that stay? They don't shrivel up. They stay nice and big in your rice. Mmm. Yes, honey. Woo! Let's get some corn on there. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. 
I just dropped all that. Well, this. Is going to conclude another edition of Sugar Pearls Studio Kitchen Live. Don't forget to like my page. Um, have friends out there who may not be um, aware of the show that we do every Friday night at 6 o'clock. Tell them to come on by. Swim through. Post up. Like my page. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yes. It's Sugar Pearls. That's S-U-G-A-R. Capital P-E-A-R-L. Apostrophe S. Just like that. On YouTube. No space. Sugar Pearls. Subscribe to my channel. Because every show that I do on Facebook. Gets posted to. Um, to the YouTube channel. Oh, green beans. Mm. Just trying to show you another way to think about food. That's all. And if you want to keep things fun and light, try something from a different country every month. At least once a month, if you can. Just try it out. Be sure to steal my recipes. And try them for yourself. But. If you'd like for me. And my team to come and prepare a delicious spread for you. And your team. We cater to groups 2 to 100. Sometimes more, but it just depends. Right now, we're doing 100 people. Okay? 2 to 100. And um, give us an idea of the vision that you have for a meal that you'd like to be created. And I almost guarantee you. No, I guarantee you. Then we can make that vision come to life, honey. Go on my website, which is www.sugarpearlsonline.com. S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L-S online.com. Mm. So if you think about, if you're thinking about um, hosting a party and you don't want to be the one working over a stove the whole time because you want to entertain your guests and you want to enjoy the party as well. I'm your girl. Okay? I got you. I'll come, post up, make it a night to remember. And we can do your vision on a reasonable budget. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. No. This This one of the best meals I had. No, this is the best meal I've had all week. Cuz I couldn't hardly eat nothing cuz I didn't I was sick. One of the best meals I had all week. And I made it. Oh. See how juicy it is? Look. Boo. That's what your... That's what your crab rangoon... Look at all that shrimp. All that crab. Onions. Garlic. Ginger. Like... Try different flavors. Mm, 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 mm.
I think I'm full. No, I, I'm full, for real. Mmm. All right, y'all. I got to put this kitchen back together so that I can get ready for Vision 2020 conference tomorrow that I'm moderating. Um, so until next time, y'all, I can't say it enough, but I'm going to tell you every time you come on that I love and appreciate you for wanting to learn something new and learning alongside me and laughing at the mistakes and all the stuff, just the real life stuff that happens Be because it is just that. It's just real life. Um, but y'all keep coming back. So either you really like what's going on here or you just a glutton for punishment, honey. But I'm hoping you like it. Because I so appreciate you for coming to hang out with me every single week. I think this is like, what, the sixth, seventh show now? Ain't no stop. Oh, oh, another song. We're on the move. Hey, hey, hey. All right, y'all. Next time, I have no idea what we're going to cook next Friday, but uh, whatever it is, hopefully it will be pleasing to your palate. Make every day a sweet day. Make it a sugar pearls day. And until next time, we are food that loves you back. Bye.